your SoCal Chevy Dealers Sports Update. I'm Kevin Cuenco with a look at the day in sports. Tiger Woods is a winner on the PGA Tour for the first time since 2013 after winning the Tour Championship by two strokes. Meanwhile, the Rams beat the Chargers 35-23 in the battle for L.A. and the Dodgers blew out the Padres 14-0. Thanks for checking in to the Sports Report. For more sports updates, go to KCAL9.com and stay tuned for KCAL9 News. How long does one hold a pose in yoga? When it's your first time doing online yoga? Hey, is this video frozen or is this expert level yoga? Don't get stuck in a yoga pose. Get Fios by Frontier with faster upload speeds than Spectrum. You've got a friend on the digital frontier. Evelyn Taft and the KCAL 9 weather team, always accurate. Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 8. Now on KCAL 9 News at 8, a man stabbed at a Metrolink station. Tonight, what we're learning about the attacker who is still on the loose. Plus, while driving, creating dangers on the street, see which California city was plagued by several sideshows all in one night. But first, a new woman comes forward with another allegation of sexual misconduct against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Good, good evening, I'm Suzanne Marquez. And I'm Peter Doubt. The woman's story was just published by The New Yorker magazine with explosive allegations. See, KCAL 9's Lori Perez joins us live in studio with the details. Lori. Suzanne and Peter, this is a bombshell that will royal an already tense atmosphere here in, in D.C. In the New Yorker article, journalists Ronan Farrow and Jane Mayer detail allegations from a woman who says Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her when the two were freshmen at Yale in the early 80s. The article